Good morning, everybody. It's Scott here. We're live here in the historic downtown of of Owasso, Michigan. This actually was named after after the after the uh, Ojibwe chief uh, Chief Wasso. It's a it's a beautiful late morning here. It's actually already in the mid 80s right now, and the humidity is kind of high right now. But nevertheless, though, it's a very beautiful morning. There's a lot of people out and about today. But yeah, I just gotta love the historic downtown area. We're kind of like around the center part of Shiawassee County. It's like it's like it's like west of Flint and northeast of Lansing. But yeah, quite a lot of traffic out on the road today. But yeah, we'll, but yeah, we'll take a look at all the different points of interest in the downtown area. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of a lot of loud trucks on M21 just in the past couple minutes. Like there was one truck came by just before I started the recording. <laughs> But yeah, gotta enjoy the, or gotta like the the downtown area. Got a little theater over there. All right, I'm gonna need to hurry because I want to cross the road over there. Hey, yeah, I just gotta love the historic buildings in here. Thankfully, the breeze is actually keeping things kind of cool at, at the moment, so... It's like, although it's like in the 80s right now, it doesn't feel too bad right now. Oh, yeah. If you haven't watched my Big Rapids video back from June, it's like, yeah, I'm kind of never seen a JC Payne in the middle of a downtown. Well, here's another one. <laughs> guess, it, guess they decided to rub it in my face after making the comments about the lack of, about all the not many JC Penney's standalone stores. But yeah, the clouds are starting to roll in a little bit. Actually, there's a line of thunderstorms that are actually coming into this area pretty soon. But I should be able to get the get the entire video in just in time, though. And we made it to the Shiawassee River. This is the main river that which flows through Owasso and also also nearby Twin City, Karana, which is just a little bit southeast of here on M71. The Shiawassee River actually eventually empties out into the Saginaw River up near, near Saginaw. And then right over here, this is the Steam Railroading Institute. This is one of the one of the main attractions here in Owasso, where I actually can learn more about the about the steam locomotive history in the state of Michigan. Well, let's actually head in. And this is this is the main rail yard here. You can see all the different historic trains in here. Yeah, a lot of these trains actually are are in use here. You actually takes that occasionally takes on little rides, which, which which I think you can head inside and you can pay a small fee to to ride on some of the trains. And I'm not sure if it's here or not, but because it because it is possibly in use. But there's a very historic steam locomotive, one one that ver very few left. It's called the the Pere Marquette Railway 1225. It actually, was first used back in 1941, and then used for about a good decade for trips across Michigan until it was donated to Michigan State University in 1957, and then. And then actually a, uh, a railroad club of a bunch of Michigan State students in 1969 actually refurbished the train and 
They eventually moved the train over here to Owasso, where it's still here today, but... But yeah, I don't think it's here today, because, or unless it's elsewhere, but... I do know that it's the only locomotive train that's actually still in use. Regardless, though, that's a pretty cool train. And, and, and actually, I think they're doing like a special robbery type, tra a train robbery type event today. So I could see people already settling in a little bit. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, coming up next, we're gonna head back into the downtown area. And we made it to where M21 and M71 meet. And we'll get a better view from the front, but that's actually the Owasso City Hall. It's a pretty, pretty cool building. But as you can tell, we're entering back in the downtown area a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool building. All right, kind of next, we're gonna head over to that little park over there, head over toward where Kerwood Castle is. All right, made to the other side of M21, and those are pretty cool rapids right over there. All right, so here's a, here's a little park that's here in downtown Owasso. And there's gonna be a little path that we could take, which will take us up to Kerwood Castle. Actually, what park is this? This is yep, Kerwood Castle Park. So that's yeah. Ch check out the rabbit at a at a close view. And then yeah, if you didn't see the storm clouds, I think you'll be able to just sneak this video in. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool in here. But yeah, Kerwood Castle is pretty close to here. Yeah, that's really cool right here. Although I think I already said that. <laughs> but yeah, but Wasso's actually been around since around like 1836. Yep. Yeah. Really cool. Oh wow, that's a... Uh, that's... That's pretty old. <laughs> Nevertheless, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This, this statue is here called the Renewal. It says, yeah, given to the citizens of Shiawassee County celebrating the lives of Arthur and Helena Elliott. Pretty cool. And then with the work of art right here, we're right there. That's the Shiawassee Art Center. And you can see many different collections of art in there, including some by, by impressionist artists, uh, Frederick uh, called Frisecki. Oh yeah, actually, let's, yeah. before we head back in the downtown, we'll definitely head across that bridge. But yeah, def definitely consider this to be like the historic quarter in here. Okay, here's the front of the art center. And then yeah, right between Kerwood Castle and the Art Center, this is Comstock Cabin, as the sign says. Uh, Elias Comstock actually was the first pioneer to make a per permanent residence here in Owasso in 1836, the same year this, this city was founded. And so this building is, yeah, has been here, although it's been moved like three times, it's actually been around since the mid 1830s and right in front of us this is Kerwood Castle. This is one of the most unique tourist attractions here in Owasso. That actually was built for very famous author James Oliver Kerwood who actually built uh, built <laughs> great choice of words Scott man. He actually wrote a lot of 
a lot of novels back in the days. It was very popular, actually one in the top 10 even, in the 1920s. They actually built this castle for him in 1922 and actually lived in here up until around the time he passed away in 1927. But yeah, look at the storm clouds roll in. Yeah, pretty cool. Let me get a quick photo off camera. That. Ah, here is footbridge. This will take us right across the Shiawassee and look how beautiful the river is. Although I can tell it's probably gonna start raining in the next like five minutes. <laughs> or right now. Well, yeah, here comes the breeze, but yeah. Pretty cool scenery in here. And I'm not just saying that because of the storm clouds. Unfortunately for me, I think I'm going to get poured on. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually, this might be perfect timing because I'm actually going to go get some lunch over at Quartzsite Cafe. Over in downtown. It's over on M21 and Washington Street. All right, so. Oh, I need to. I noticed that little water drop out to clean that off. All right, so before we close up today's video, we're gonna head back into downtown. A little breezy here. <laughs> got hold, got hold on my head a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean off my lens a little bit. It's gonna be water drop what's on it, but. Part of the fun, though. One more street to be at Washington, and feel the breeze, and I gotta be a little bit careful here, so I don't get hit by any debris. Good thing I'm almost to the restaurant. Yeah, let's go. Cool the clouds look though. But as you can tell, they actually had a little farmer's market here today, but I think they're going to be packing it up because, let's just say, it's about to rain. <laughs> oh, let's take a look. time to head inside though which about to do that shortly and have have some nice lunch As you go, here we are back in downtown oh, I have to get in the street because I came and get a came and get through there Yeah, I still got to do my intro to the restaurant, so this would be a very interesting intro. Kind of glad it hasn't started pouring yet, though, so hopefully it waits, holds off on that until I start eating. Well, I actually just had lunch at the Quartzsite Cafe. I literally made it not a minute or two before it started pouring. <laughs> but yeah, I got to say, that was pretty crazy earlier. <laughs> Walking by the farmer's market, I can tell it's pretty much all packed up. But yeah, definitely, yeah, things were getting blown around, but... The storm has already passed to the east to the east of us, and it's really cooled things down. It actually feels pretty nice out right now. Humidity's dropped, a, well, it's kind of muggy still, but it's actually in the low 70s right now. Low, yeah, low to mid-70s, and the humidity actually dropped a little, or the... Well, more like the dew point kind of dropped a little bit, so it doesn't feel as uncomfortable, so. But yeah, I actually have a little umbrella right now because it's light, it's it's drizzling right now, but. <laughs> I watched my step there. But anyway, it's like, I, I'm uh, gonna go ahead and close up the video in the next couple of minutes. I wanna check, check out a couple of churches up to the North on Washington Street really quick before we close out today's video. 
Yeah, I love the historic buildings in downtown. Yeah, you can definitely tell a lot of rain fell in a short period of time because yeah, I learned how to walk slowly in that because there's quite a big puddle there. But yeah, I, I definitely been enjoying my little visit here to Owasso today, even with that thunderstorm earlier, but we got the post office right there. Now let's get a closer look at both of these churches. And we're here at Washington and William Street. Got a couple of churches across the street. Well, actually a couple of churches right in this block. Right in front of us is the first congre congregational church. That's actually, that's, that's actually been there since 1892. This is when that, when, when the, this current church actually was built. It's a pretty cool building. And I'm standing right by the Salem Lutheran Church, but we'll get a better view from the other side of the street. So I'll go ahead and cross over to the other side. Now we cross the other side of Washington, and there is the Salem Lutheran Church, which which faces the the first Congregational Church. I believe this structure was built in 1921, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, unfortunately, with the with the cloudier skies right now, it's like you can't really see the building all that well. But pretty cool, nevertheless. Oh, and then back to this church over here. Yeah, you can see some of the stained glass right there. Pretty cool, and it's like yeah, the, even the church itself actually. <laughs> As you can tell, it has some different field stones actually from, from this area. Owasso definitely has quite a lot to offer. It has a lot of great downtown areas, all the different shopping areas, and also great restaurants such as Courtside Cafe and a bunch of other restaurants. And then over on the other side of the Shiawassee River, including the Shiawassee River itself, as there's a very nice river walk. Also, they have the, the Shiawassee Arts Center and the and the Kerwood Castle. As a matter of fact, I'll I'll try to I'll try to post a link in in, at, in the description of this video, which actually where somebody actually filmed inside that. So so if you want to learn more about Kerwood Castle, I'll definitely put the link up for that. And then to the south on Washington Street, going toward M71, there's also the the Steam Rail Institute. But I'm just enjoying the, the fountain here now that it's less windy and crazy, but yeah. It's like you never even knew there was a farmer's market here earlier. But yeah, this concludes today's video here in Owasso, Michigan, and this is Scott signing out.